guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like in every single video, I'm wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> I swear I don't only own blue shirts, although I do have a lot of them. I actually have two of this one that I bought by accident, but I love it so much that I actually wear it enough to justify having two of the exact same shirt. This video is gonna be a haul of my stuff. I know there's been a lot of hauls lately. I apologize for that, but they were just requested and I kind of wanted to just get them out of the way and here is my Sorrento or Italy haul which feels like a million miles away right now it's raining outside it's cloudy today we're in the throes of autumn it feels like even looking at this stuff I'm like oh remember that flip-flops bathing suits first thing I picked up was a Givenchy lipstick and this is my first one I hadn't bought anything Givenchy before. It has a leather case, which I thought was really cool. I don't think I own a lipstick that has a leather case, <laughs> aside from this one. This is in the shade Nude Gui Pure. I think that's how you say it, 106. And this is what it looks like. You can see me wearing this in my lookbook. I think it's either the first or the second day. This is the lipstick that I wore. It is a pretty dark nude, I will say that. It's not like the nude that I have on right now, that's a lighter one. So on me, it looks kind of like a dark nude or almost like even a berry shade. I just think my lips are quite light and any kind of nudes, I have to be careful. Like if I really want a true nude, I have to go really, really light because all nudes seem to look brown or dark on me. So this does look like a brownish, berryish nude on me. I do really like it. I just think that the color is a little bit darker than what I was expecting and I probably will get a lot of wear out of it, come to think of it during like the autumn and winter and that kind of thing. Along with the lipstick, I got a lip liner and I don't usually wear lip liners. I'm really bad at remembering to wear them because I don't like, I think it's a, I like how they look when I first apply them, but then throughout the day, if I like try and apply them and if there's even a tiny bit of lipstick left on my lips, that's just really a lot of like fuss for me, if that makes sense. So like if I need to reapply, I want it to be completely bare before I do that, before I apply a lip liner. I don't like the feel of lip liner going on over lipstick. So that's why I tend not to wear it or not to even bother because it's just a pain. But I do like the way it looks. Like right now I have my lips lined and then lipstick and then gloss. But like I probably won't reapply all of those three things throughout the day. The lip liner that I got was from Givenchy again and it's number nine and it is a true nude and I don't know if you'll be able to see the swatches because of my camera being quite far away but it, I have it on right now and it's basically just like a nude I don't know how else to describe it because the Givenchy lipstick ended up being a little bit darker than what I expected I did pick up another one and this is from Chanel and this is their Rouge Coco 410 in Catherine and it's the one I have on right now this is an interesting one. I will swatch it. I'll put the swatches on my blog for you guys so you can see. It's a much lighter nude and it's kind of almost like a peachy nude. So it is very, very light and I don't love it by itself on me, but I love it with a lip liner because the one that I just mentioned paired with this, which is what I have on right now, looks amazing. But on its own, it can be a little bit too light and it doesn't even really show up that well as lipstick on my lips. This is probably more of a boring thing to mention. I wasn't even going to show it in the video, but I wear Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. You guys probably mostly know that if you watch like my makeup tutorials and stuff, and I have been using it for a long time, but I had to switch up my color because I got darker, which is always a fun thing to do. I always like getting a tan and all the things that go along with it. Your skin generally looks better and I like switching up my makeup shade to a darker one. I, just, I don't know why I like that but I just, I love having a tan. It just makes me feel so much better <laughs> about myself. I usually am an ivory beige which is the 3N1 so it's three neutral one. I switched to shell beige which is four and one. And then also from Estee Lauder this is something that I bought which was a complete mistake. I went in there thinking that I was gonna, you know, darken my foundation shade and then darken my concealer shade as well. So I meant to get the double wear like stick concealer in medium rather than light medium, which I'm wearing right now, because the light medium is a little bit too light for me. That's what I ask for and I got this instead. This is Double Wear Brush On Glow BB Highlighter. 
and I have yet to use this because I didn't mean to buy it. <laughs> I've never used this before. I'm guessing this is like the Touche Clat or something. I'm not really sure. Like, do you put it on before your foundation, after your foundation? Is it a highlighter like that you put on your cheekbones? Or is it something that you wear underneath because it says BB? I don't really know. So if anybody wants to enlighten me, please do. I'm not sure if I will use this because like I said, it was a complete mistake and I didn't notice until I had gone home and then it was too late, so. And then one more beauty thing that I probably would not normally mention, because it's not even beauty, it's technically just like a necessity, is this deodorant. But the reason why I wanted to mention it is because I wanted to let you guys know that it is rubbish. Please do not buy it. It is really, really bad. And I love Nivea deodorant, it's the one that I use. So I use the Nivea Pearl Beauty, usually that one that's got the pink pearls on it. I love that scent. I use either the roll-on or the spray. They didn't have that one, but they had like Nivea Pure and Sensitive and Nivea Dry. And I think my mum uses Nivea Dry, um, but they had them in these like different applicators. So they're kind of like a body spray applicator because it's not an aerosol spray and it's not a roll on. It's kind of like in between. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just try it. That was the only type that they have. They didn't have anything else. And I got the Pure and Sensitive one. Well, I sprayed this underneath my arms and it goes on like a body splash or body spray. I usually do this after putting on my clothes because I don't like to get those marks when I put my clothes on or my top on. So anyway, I was wearing my tank top, sprayed a little bit underneath both my armpits and then kind of did started doing some other stuff, looked back in the mirror and to my horror, there were two massive wet patches under my arms and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I had to go down to breakfast. So I was kind of like, going like this and like hoping that it would dry in. Eventually it kind of dried in, but it's I, it was still a little bit stained. So I was like, what am I gonna do? And then I noticed further on during the day that I stank of BO. So obviously it didn't even work. And this is the deodorant. I've just been trying to like use it up just because I bought it and I want to get my money's worth, but I should really buy the normal kind now that I'm home. But it doesn't work. I need to reapply this like a lot to mask the smell of BO. It's really not nice. Moving on to fashion, clothing, accessories, all that kind of thing. I'm gonna start with the beach bag that I picked up because I was using my Chloe bag, which was like, you know, my most recent per bag purchase. And then I was kind of like, okay, I cannot bring this to the beach with me. This is way too scary. Cause I would have sun cream on. I was scared of getting it dirty, getting it marked, stained, whatever. But that was the bag that I took with me on the holiday. So I needed to get a beach bag and I wanted one that I could keep, like that I could use, you know, in years to come as well. So I got this one. This is by Armani Jeans. This is just in white and blue and it's kind of like nautical that's why I liked it with the gold writing here and then the gold like little disc logo thing and I really liked this I used it the entire time I was there it has a zip pocket inside and then space for your phone like pockets for your phone and it clips with a magnetic button easy to access I could fit a lot in here it was usually empty or like I usually didn't fill it up, so it has a lot of space. I really like it. I think I'm gonna use it next year, definitely as well. I also got some flip-flops. I know this is like a summer thing that, you know, I could only use on holiday and then now we're into autumn and winter, so it doesn't really make sense, but I wanted to get some new Havianas and I couldn't really find any that I really, really liked. I don't really like to get plain Havianas. I always like to get more fun ones. So I have ones with skulls and crossbones. Then I have a pair of somewhat plain ones, and then I saw these ones and I fell in love. So these are kind of like a cream color, and then they've got the turquoise thong and lips, which I like that. I think that's really cute. And then they've got like lips, eyelashes, little bows in like black and red. And I just think these were really fun. I love the lips on them. I love the turquoise color. I picked these up in a men's shop when Jonathan was shopping for himself. They were the only women's wear things that were in that shop and I like made a beeline. I saw them and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get myself something as well. If you're gonna go shopping, I'm gonna go shopping. If you watched Eduardo's haul video, then you will know that we went into a kind of like sports shop or like um, football, I don't know, it was like football jerseys and that kind of thing. And I never would usually make a purchase like this, but I thought it was really cute. So I got this muscle top, which is in the size seven to eight years, <laughs> or size small. So it fits me like a small, and it's kind of like, 
I said in my vid in the other video that it was a crop top, but it's kind of cropped. It's not like cropped like up to here, you know, under my boobs. It's like somewhat cropped on me. So I thought it would be nice for like bedtime, like bed nightwear. So this is, it says Champion Italia, and I think I I'm pretty sure this is their football jersey logo thing. I don't know. Something that I splurged a little bit on were bikinis because I worked really hard before our holiday on like working out and getting my fitness up and toning my body and like I've had you know two babies now and I just wanted to get back in shape so buying a bikini for me is kind of like a reward you know so I did splurge a little bit um, actually a lot <laughs> let's be honest. The first bikini that I got was by Juicy Couture and I have one from Juicy Couture and I really really like it so I got another one. This is the top part it's got the it's kind of like a regular bra type of um, style and then it's padded which obviously I like because my boobs have shrunk ever since I gave up breastfeeding. It has the little Juicy logo heart logo there and then it's got lace it's these like candy stripes in pink and cream and I just really really like this. It's kind of that balconette style as well which I love and kind of like lifts your bust and it's just really really pretty. And then the bottoms are kind of what sold me so it looks like a skirt. It's got like the ruffle and the lace and really flattering as well. They're not high waisted but they're not low rise, they're like mid rise. The next bikini is something that I am a little bit embarrassed about because I didn't intend on spending this much money on a bi bikini, I mean, it was kind of an accident. I just picked it up off a rack. I don't know how I did it. Jonathan thinks I have some kind of a golden thumb or something that I just pick out things that are the most expensive in the shop and I don't even do it consciously or knowingly. I just do it like by accident. I just liked it. I'll show you what it looks like. It's from, or it's by the brand La Perla. And I'm gonna be honest, I had not heard of that brand before, but apparently it's a really famous brand um, and it's Italian. So this is what the top half looks like. And I just love it because a black bikini, I mean, you can never go wrong with a black bikini, but I love the black and gold. It's got beading in it and the stitching is beautiful. It's just so, so gorgeous. And it's got like gold, it's lined with gold around here. And then it's got this like, really thin string which you can remove but I tried to remove it and like totally gave up because the buttons are so tiny or the buttonholes are so tiny rather so that's what the top half looks like and it really lifts your boobs which again I need that's the bottom half it's a little bit creased because it's been in the bag it just ties at the sides and then it's got that lovely gold design with the with the beading and then the back the bum part is seamless which I like I think that's quite flattering so this is possibly the most expensive item of clothing that I own bar my trench coat so <laughs> it was kind of was, we kind of said that it was an anniversary present which I mean it was it ended up being last but not least is two items of clothing from the Moschino shop which is a shop that I look in every single time I go to Sorrento you can't really miss it it's on a corner and um, I got a little set so I got this blouse which I've worn I actually wore this blouse to a premiere of a TV show that were kind of like extras in <laughs> it's really random but anyway I wore this there and really really love it I wore it with leather trousers though because it is quite cold here. It's cream with a black bow at the neckline. It's really flowy, really loose fitting and just kind of like classic. And then to kind of go with it, I got these shorts which are black and they have like these pleats. They're kind of like formal like shorts and they've got pockets. This is in a heavy knit or like heavy wool kind of material. So it's good for autumn and winter because I can wear them with tights obviously. And it's got all of this chaining here. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's got a gun on it, which I'm not really into guns like at all. But she said you can remove this, which I might do. The gun just offends me, I don't know. But Moschino is kind of like that, you know? That's like their style. I will say though that that shop 
they have a lift in that shop and it was the tiniest, most awkward like lift ride I've ever had in my life. Me and the woman were like squished up against each other and I didn't know her at all. So it was like just so awkward. It was one of those things that you just, it was probably took about two minutes, but it felt like two hours <laughs> and I just wanted it to end. So that's everything that I got from Sorrento, from Italy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put it. I will put pictures on my blog and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.